Hello everyone. It's been kind of a long time since we've seen this one, so figured we'd give you as an update. This is the CT2 Stover that goes in the cement mixer. Dad just wrapped it up last night, got all the pinstriping done. It looks quite sharp. So I think we mentioned before, but this is a 1936. We're not going to do the pinstriping or anything on this side because you're never going to see it being in the mixer. So if it was just the engine by itself, then yeah, for sure we would do the flywheel on the other side of the hopper. Maybe even something back here, but that's it. Stover's done, all put back together. We didn't do videos on it because it just would have taken twice as long. If you guys watched Colin's last video, then he made about the same comment. It takes a lot longer to do a project. So, yeah, basically ran out of time and like I say, didn't have a lot of extra time to just sit there and film everything, cleaning up everything, and it just would have taken twice as long, so. There's the mixer. It's finally... No, actually, I did do a video of it before, but we got new decals made by CDS Signs in Burlington. And they are just perfect. Uh, one more thing we have to do is put the dealer plate and the name tag back on the mixer. Inside the doghouse. Actually, I think that's the last thing we had to do last time was uh, finish the doghouse and put it back together. So that's all said and done now. So there's the other side. Plates for it. Yeah, Dad just grabbed the plates, so it might be kind of hard to read this one because it's quite faded. Eh, not too bad. Sold and serviced by W. L. Ballantyne, Toronto, Ontario. That's worth price of admission right there, having the original dealer plate, and then we have the actual quick mix plate, model three and a half Sam, uh, shop number twenty nine nine three. Nobody can tell us, but I'm kind of wondering if three and a half Sam means, well, it's a CT2, so it would be two and a half horsepower, so that wouldn't make a whole lot of sense, but SAM, Stover and Mixer, I'm not really sure. If anybody's got any information or knows what it actually means, it'd be kind of cool to learn. But those guys got to go on, and then the Mixer itself is done. This is going to be our super sketchy setup of her getting the engine back in there. We're going to block the wheels so it doesn't roll on us, but it's a nice gentle slope in. So we'll see how that goes. Um, obviously there's going to be no way that I can film this and put this in at the same time. So I'm going to have to pause you guys and uh, maybe when we get it about halfway up I'll do a quick shot and then when it's actually in give you a better shot yeah so give us a minute and we'll get back to you okay that was a lot easier than we thought it was gonna be so now we just need to you know put it in a little more that might be the tricky part so I said I'm going to have to pause you guys because there's no way I can do this and film at the same time. So, give me 10 seconds, guys. Okay, that wasn't actually near as bad as we thought it was going to be. But it's been quite a while since the stover's actually been in the mixer.
Now, stupendous amounts of room in there, but that's the way it came. Uh, we do have the chain for it, or Dad has the chain for it, but uh, apparently it's quite obnoxious when running, so we're not going to put it back on. But, yeah. Say so we'll get the plates on, the mixer, and then that's it. This project's done. Yeah, I guess we just have to actually secure the engine. But it's in. That's the main thing, and it's not going anywhere now. Yeah, there you go. I don't know if you caught that, but Dad said he might try and do some more pinstriping. Alright guys, I know this is a short video, but there's nothing really much else to show you. So, thanks for watching. I know it's taken a while to get this series done, but it is what it is. I don't have stupendous amounts of time to film everything sometimes I've got an hour here an hour there so we just do what we can like this I should have filmed me fixing this and everything else but I didn't it's so before this is just a piece of aluminum and it was sitting there flopping like a fish so I put two brass bushings in there but sits a lot smoother and it runs a lot nicer and it doesn't sit like I say and flop around now if you wanna dad's just gonna pull it in the sun so we can get a better shot of it yeah thumbnail photo for you Don't know how well that's going to come out on camera, but that looks quite sharp. Yeah. There. There's a thumbnail shot for you. Because YouTube never gives me a good one. Okay. That's it, guys. Thanks for watching and thanks for, well, hanging in there and waiting for me to finally make another video on the cement mixer. I'll try and do a uh, playlist and put all the parts together, but I have no idea how to do that, so I guess we'll have to learn. Anyways, again, thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you in the next one. And you thought that this was going to be easy. Nope, we screwed up. So, engine is back out and apart because, well, I don't know if we're going to be able to see. There is, zoom in and enhance. Okay, see right in the center there. Get my finger to okay right there there's two marks one dot on the crank and two dots on the cam gear somebody at some point in time made two marks on the cam on two different teeth which I don't know if I can uh, Gonna be awkward, sorry guys. It won't be there because it's behind the load then, right? Yeah, it should be just after. Right there. Okay, stop. You see them? Yep. Okay. Right there. Mark there, mark there. I know my finger is way out of proportion but anyways those two marks somebody had marked that and that's what we followed we never saw the other two marks so this thing was basically firing 180 degrees out Almost. well way, maybe way maybe a little earlier than 180 but 
I guess you guys can see the internal workings now. Pretty simple stores. You've got your governor, and that's just all oil bath. Nothing super special. Look down in there, you can see your latch out rod. Latch out. on your cam. Latch out's there. It's just a little round. You can kind of see that roller right there in the center of the screen. So, yeah, we will uh, put this all back together and attempt again. Because, you know, professional YouTuber and attempting to. Long story short, we got too excited. We just wanted to see this thing run because it hasn't run in forever. So we thought we timed it right, but apparently not. Anyways, we'll put this back together and uh, then we'll get back to you. Oh, yeah. Hand tool, if you're watching. Probably not. That's okay, though. Anyways, guys, we'll get back to you when the engine's back in again. Okay, we're gonna attempt to start this. I say attempt because I'm using one hand. Okay, give me 10 seconds. Ready? Yep. Okay, see, there's smoke and fire. Okay, hang on guys, I gotta pause these again. We flooded it partially. There you go. That's been way too long to see this thing run. There you go guys. Cement mixer in all its glory. amplified with the engine running it's just so obnoxious that's why the chain's not on there
All right, guys. We're going to call it there. For real this time. Thank you guys for watching. And talk to you in the next one.